I would argue that the Microsoft Copilot is the best generative AI tool in the market today, at least in the free version. ChatGPT is only text-based, does not have access to recent data, cannot generate images. Even Google Gemini is doing catch-up with the Copilot at this point. Copilot now even comes with GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo, which are available only in the paid version of ChatGPT. That is a lot of features for a free version of Copilot. But Microsoft also has confusingly multiple tiers of Copilot. There is Copilot Free, but there is also a Copilot Pro and a Copilot for Microsoft 365. What are these different versions? How is the Copilot Pro different from the free version? And is it worth paying for? Let's answer some questions. Copilot is a generative AI assistant by Microsoft. You can do web search, ask questions, get help, communicate in natural language, generate images, and do a lot more. It's built on the same AI model as ChatGPT called the GPT-4. You can access Copilot on the web by going to copilot.microsoft.com. It's available on Windows, PCs, and it's also available on the phone app. By default, the Copilot is a free service by Microsoft. You can access it even without Microsoft account by going to the web page. So, what does the free version of Copilot do and why is it better than ChatGPT? Let's start with what Copilot can do. You can ask any question in natural language and it will try to answer as accurately as it can. General knowledge question, fitness, suggestions, cooking suggestions, trip planning, document writing, even software coding help. Copilot can even generate images based on your text description. It works amazingly well. So, why is it better than ChatGPT? You see, everything we saw with the Copilot is available for free. ChatGPT is also free, but the free version is also very limited. Copilot is connected to the internet, so it has more recent data for answering you. ChatGPT data is pretty old and is not connected to the internet, so it cannot answer questions related to recent events. This is a big downside. Second, the ChatGPT free version works on GPT 3.5 model. This is an older, slower and less accurate model than the GPT 4 available in Copilot. Third, the Copilot has integrations with other apps like Kayak, Instacart, OpenTable, etc., which can help you find a flight, reserve a table, get you groceries within the Copilot app. ChatGPT does not have these integrations in the free version. And fourth, Copilot is amazing at generating images from text. It has a built-in designer feature as well. ChatGPT, no image generation in the free version. Google Gemini, on the other hand, has a lot more features like Copilot for free. But it's not as stable yet as Copilot. It recently got into issues and Google is still trying to put that fire down. Meanwhile, Microsoft, on the other hand, has taken Copilot up by a notch by introducing Copilot Pro and Copilot for Microsoft 365. Both are paid version and can do a lot more than the free version. What exactly are they? So currently there are three tiers of Copilot available. One, as we saw the free version, Second, Copilot Pro, which will cost you $20 or 2000 rupees a month. Third, Copilot for Microsoft 365 for $30 or 2500 rupees a month. The Copilot for Microsoft 365 is focused for business users, so I will focus on the Copilot and the Copilot Pro in this video. Okay, $20 a month is a lot of money, and Microsoft might sneakily ask you to pay another $70 a year for the Microsoft 365 plan if you want the full benefit. Confusing, isn't it? Let me explain by first giving you the difference between Copilot and Copilot Pro. Copilot runs on advanced GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo AI models, but that's only when there is less traffic. If so many people are using Copilot at the same time, Copilot will start using the older model GPT-3 and 3.5 for the free version. So. Depending on when and where you use Copilot, your experience might vary a bit. Copilot Pro, on the other hand, gives you priority access to GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo all the time. So your results will be faster, consistent and more accurate than the free version. This is the same with the image generation as well. The Copilot free version will give you 15 boosts per day. It's like tokens for generating an image. Faster image generation, more generated images, all mean more boosts required. The Copilot Pro will give you 100 boosts per day for a higher and faster image generation in Copilot. So, if you use Copilot to generate a lot of images a day, Copilot Pro might be something you want to take a look into. But that's not even the biggest reason why you should consider the Copilot Pro. The big selling point for Copilot Pro is you can use Copilot in all the office apps like Microsoft Word, 
Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, etc. This is a big deal. If you want to know what Copilot can do within these apps, you should check out this video. It's super impressive and will increase your productivity at least over 10 times. In short, Copilot is available within Word to help you write or summarize your document. It can rewrite paragraphs in a better way and help you refine your documents. In Excel, it can analyze tables and give you insights. Make changes to your tables with natural language. In PowerPoint, it can generate slides automatically with just your text. Make changes to slides and even add talking notes. In Outlook, it will help you draft your perfect email, correct the tone of message, summarize long emails and a lot more. These are seriously helpful features in day-to-day -day productivity than as a chatbot. Do check out my videos on a deep dive into Copilot Pro on what it can do. But here's a catch. Microsoft 365 and Copilot Pro are two different subscriptions and you will need both of them to take full advantage of Copilot Pro. Wait, what? You see, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook are all paid apps. So if you want Copilot to work within those apps, you need to first purchase those apps. And that is at least $70 a year called Microsoft 365 subscription. That's $120 for Copilot and $70 for Office, totaling close to $200 a year. Luckily, there is a workaround. You see, with a free Microsoft account, you can access Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Outlook on the web. If you go to the office.com, you can access all these apps on the web and with Copilot Pro. Copilot will work with all these apps as well when you work on the web. I think this is also possible within the Microsoft 365 app on Windows PCs. But if you use desktop office apps extensively and you want Copilot Pro to work within them, then you will need both subscriptions for this integration. My take is, if someone is already a heavy Office user, they might already have the Microsoft 365 subscription anyway. So this might not be a deal breaker for them anyway. Only a small group who specifically want Copilot Pro now without access to MS 365 might feel the pain. So faster and accurate GPT-4 AI model, faster and more image generation, Copilot integration in Office apps. That's what you're paying $20 a month for. That's Copilot Pro. There is one other benefit of Copilot Pro, which is the Copilot GPT Builder. Think of this as customized Copilot Hub for specific tasks. For example, if you go to the Copilot Web Free version, you can see on the top right some custom Copilot GPTs like Vacation Planner, Fitness Trainer, Cooking Assistant, etc. With Copilot Pro, you can build more customized Copilot GPTs like these according to your needs. It's an advanced option, but if you are interested, let me know in the comments below. Now, do you think Copilot Pro is worth the price? In my opinion, for heavy office and productivity focused users, it definitely is. I've tried Copilot Pro within Word and PowerPoint and it definitely reduces time taken by at least 10 times. It writes 100 page document within minutes while I might need even days to create a rough draft. It creates a presentation based on a Word file in a few minutes which might even take weeks for me. So it's a huge time saver for those who work in office suits the most. What's your take? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out my video on Copilot Pro in action in Word, Outlook, etc. I'll see you in the next one. This is Alchina. Bye-bye.